Are you trying to manifest something into your life? Maybe it's love, maybe it's more money, and you're following all the steps by these law of attraction gurus, visualizing, taking inspired action, but still you're stuck where you are. What if I told you that the more you're able to let go of what you want to manifest, the quicker it will come into your life? you might actually unconsciously be blocking it from coming into your life. So today I will share with you why the more you let go, the more you receive. And stay until the very end as I will share practical tips on how to actually let go. Now I know it sounds very confusing that you need to let go to actually attract it. Um, so that's why I will give an example from my life, my love life specifically. Now I'm with my twin flame and we have twin flame guides together and we teach other people how to find their twin flame. But my love life used to be a disaster. My friends and family would tell me, you are so beautiful, smart, funny. Why do you still not have a boyfriend? <laughs> so from my teenage years to mid twenties, I loved the idea of having a boyfriend. Um, I've always been very romantic. But I just couldn't get a boyfriend, no matter how hard I tried. My first boyfriend um, is really embarrassing, but I changed the Facebook status to in a relationship before we even had that talk. That's how desperate I was. <laughs> I was reading all of the love guru books on how to play this game, how to play hard to get, how to be desired, but nothing worked for me. In my late 20s, I stopped with all of that. I completely gave up and I let go of the outcome. And that's when love started flowing into my life and I met my twin flame. The reason why I couldn't attract a relationship is because I had a desperate energy and people can sense that even if you're not next to them. So it was an energy of lack. Write in the comments, I release, I let go. I release, I let go. So how do you actually let go so you can receive more? There are three steps to this. The first one is to be open. The ego wants things to happen a certain way, but the universe might have a different plan. You might think that the money will come from a promotion in your current job, but maybe it's actually starting your own business that will give you the money. So you ignore the signs. For example, there might be online business workshops, popping up in your ads, in your social media feeds, but you're ignoring it because you feel like it has to come from a promotion. So be open. Step number two is to meditate daily. The less you are in your ego during the day, the more everything will flow more easily, the more synchronicities you will experience. It's when your ego tries to control things, the outcomes, that you have a problem. So meditating daily will help you this, to step into your soul rather than your ego. Step number three is to do your purpose or your passion, what sets your soul on fire. If you don't know what that is, I have a free guide in the description on how to find your purpose in five simple steps. Do you have any experience of letting go and then things flows into your life more easily? Um, and what do you want to attract into your life? I'd love to hear in the comments. Love you so much and have a beautiful day.